Hey, Sejin here. If you're anything like me, prompting can be tiresome sometimes, especially when generating prompts for mid-journey. I tend to get writer's block sometimes and I have a difficult time generating ideas to write better prompts. Well today, I'm going to show you a quick way to create quick and easy prompts for mid-journey using ChatGPT to create cool looking wallpapers like the one you see right now. Plus, if you watch until the very end, I have a bonus surprise for you so make sure you watch until the very end. If you like this type of content, make sure you like the video and subscribe to this channel. It's really the best way to support the channel. Let's dive right in. Open ChatGPT4. Click Plugins. Scroll down until you find Plugin Store. Click it. Now search for the photorealistic plugin. Click install. Once it's done installing, you can start prompting it. Start by typing generate a mid-journey prompt and I'm going to ask it to create a prompt for a layered paper of waves along with additional descriptions to make it a little bit more interesting. So hit enter and it should provide you with two sample prompts. Usually the two are very similar, but there are slight differences in the wording which generate slightly different images. I usually choose the one I feel would look best. Let me quickly go over each description. Okay, I like this one, so let me copy this prompt. Now, since we have that copy, let's open up our mid-journey Discord server. Type in slash imagine and paste in your prompt. I'm going to delete the version 5.1 since I have a setting on version 5.2. Everything else looks good. And hit enter. Give it a few seconds. And boom, we have four images of the prompt I just entered. So let me choose one that will look best as my desktop wallpaper. Number two looks really nice, so I'll hit the U2 upscale button. Now, since that's upscaled, let me click on the image and click on Open in Browser. And then save image as. Choose my folder. Rename it. And save it. Now for the bonus part, if you need to upscale the image for print, you'll need the resolution to be much higher around 300 dpi or 2000 pixels for print on demand sites such as Etsy and Printify. So open up your web browser and go to Google and search for upscale. Upscaled is spelled U-P-S-C-A-Y-L. Click on the first link and it should take you to the upscale.org website. Choose whichever operating system you have and click download. What's great about this app is that it works really well and best of all, it's free. Once you have downloaded the program and installed it, open up the Upscale app and select the image that we just generated with Midjourney. There are different upscaling types, but I'll choose digital art since I want to use the picture for print. You can set your output folder and hit Upscale. Once it's done upscaling, you can compare the differences between the original and the upscale version by moving the scroller from right to left. It's really hard to tell, so let's go and look at both images. Here's the upscaled version. Let me zoom in for a closer look. Wow, that really looks good. If you check the properties, you can see that it's 5024 by 3264, which is more than enough pixels for printing. And if you look at the Midjourney upscale version, it's only 1456 by 816. Quite the difference. So that's how you go from instant prompting to formatting your images for print. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.